What is something that instantly killed a crush that you had on someone? She told me, after we had been dating for a few weeks, that she seriously believes she has psychic powers. I was already thinking of calling it off, but that was the moment I knew for sure that we weren't going to be compatible. Dating a psychic is not worth the stress of knowing that she could be reading my thoughts at any moment. She must have seen that coming. That's so Raven theme plays in the background. That's so Raven. It's a breakup I can see. He was on his phone the entire time we were having dinner. I didn't feel comfortable asking him to get off of his phone, so I mostly just sat there awkwardly and felt the butterflies leave my stomach. I can't understand how someone could use their phone like that on a date. Their point is to connect through social media, but if the one, potentially, important person is right in front of you, I'd think they'd pay attention to what's there. Edit, though I understand checking something on your phone, or if you're gonna show something on your phone to someone. I'm talking about mindlessly browsing reddit, or taking pointless calls, yeah, I'm not busy, I can chat that could easily be done at other times. Agreed. It's the quickest and easiest way of communicating to someone you're not worth my time, after you've literally set time aside to be with that person. Excusing yourself to reply to urgent texts, momentarily, is understandable, but long periods of time are simply insulting or insensitive. If they need to be on their phone the entire evening, they should apologize and make that clear. Sometimes disasters happen, maybe reschedule the date, but it's not worth your time to sit around waiting and building resentment when you could be doing things that make you happier and feel valued. She confessed to me. She asked me out, and I told her yes. She ran out of the room, visibly red and covering her face. I'm left wondering, did I say something bad? A few minutes later, her friend who was present and ran after her came to me and told me my crush was just kidding and she wasn't being serious about the confession. We remained friends, but I couldn't take seriously anything she said. Since then, I've had trouble bonding with people, thinking that their feelings towards me aren't sincere. Someone in my 9th grade class did this to our classmate. Everyone knew she liked him, and he asked her to date him, in front of everyone on a class trip to London. And then he laughed, when she said yes, you didn't think I was actually serious, or something like it, was said. She was a super shy, sensitive, and really kind girl, and I still get freaking mad thinking about it. Saw how she treated her doormat of a boyfriend. It was almost cartoonish the way she ordered him to do things and constantly criticized him. She found a guy who knew he was out of her league, and totally took advantage of it. Her appeal disappeared pretty quickly after that. The odd thing is that I had apparently been acting kind of standoffish and boring around her while the crush was on. Once I was over her, I loosened up and acted more like myself, and then she started talking to me more. Realizing that I had been making myself less appealing was a nice lesson to learn from that. Edit, I meant to say that he knew she was out of his league. She was hot. He was not. That's what she took advantage of. I had a crush on a woman for a couple of years, when I was at university. I was incredibly shy and quiet around her. Apparently, that made me mysterious, and eventually we got together one night. After that, I relaxed and was more myself around her. She didn't like the real me. Oh gosh, I hated when women like me for being mysterious. I'm just introverted, and not a big talker, when it comes to meeting strangers. The real me is goofy and geeky, so once I get comfortable and start being myself, they lose interest. I couldn't figure it out until a Tinder match told me that I was really mysterious during our first date. I followed that up with some puns and dad jokes and never saw her again. Frick mystery, I like being a goofball. If you're looking for a mystery, go watch Scooby Doo. I saw the guy who I had a crush on on and off for all of high school, attempt to shave his arm hairs with one of the 10 lighters he had in his backpack, by burning off the hairs. FYI, he doesn't smoke either. He just really likes fire. Edit, for those of you who aren't clear, it's his lack of common sense. 
Ah, that reminds me of a boy I had a fleeting fancy for in high school. He loved attention of any sort, and one day, while he was bored working on a group project, he inserted two of his car keys into an electrical outlet, convinced that the plastic coating on the heads of the keys would protect him. This was in the 90s, so there were no electronics on the keys that could have gotten fried. He shorted out the socket for the rest of the term, punched himself in the face from the recoil, and got thrown out of class. He was still nice to look at, but all attraction was over. He didn't think that drinking and driving was a big deal, and admitted to doing it often, because he's more focused when he's drunk. Edit, I just wanted to clarify, he wasn't drunk when he told me we were on our first lunch date, and he wanted to go on a second date that weekend for drinks when he told me that he can drink and drive. I told him that he's an idiot for putting others in danger. I walked off on our date. The last thing I told him before I left was that it was a shame for him to be that good looking and stupid. I don't know what happened to the guy. This was about 8 years ago. Good lord. I hate this. I've had to cut ties with several friends who have this mentality. All of them claim to be more focused. No, that is you trying your best to be almost as good as you are when you're sober and failing. Not to mention endangering the lives of other people just because your lazy self couldn't figure out another way to get home. We weren't even dating yet, just getting to know each other, and he texted me this. You have to either stop talking to me or to other male friend to avoid leading anyone on. I was not romantically interested in this friend and he definitely wasn't into me. He had actually just told me he was thinking of asking some other girl out. I'm not going to avoid showing basic politeness to acquaintances just because it could be incorrectly perceived as leading them on. I'm pretty awkward so that's not even likely to happen. I obviously wouldn't accuse guys of leading me on every time they're nice to me either. I told him soon after that I didn't think we would be compatible after he said a few other weird things and got increasingly clingy. Then he begged me to kiss him again just to make sure I wasn't turned on and texted me later that I ruined his self esteem by putting him in the friend zone. I want him to be happy but I just didn't want to date someone that insecure. You have to either stop talking to me. Wish granted. The way she talked about her son. It wasn't just a one time thing. She would just trash talk this poor little 6 year old all day. The times I came over, he would show me his cars and toys. And I, of course, acted super interested in them. She would just tell him to stop being so annoying. And to go play in his room. He just wanted to show me his cool stuff. You jerk. It's really sad how many people I've encountered who act like this to their kids. They'd say don't encourage them. From being a kid who wants to show me something cool. I feel bad these kids have to be raised by such jerks. She went off on some poor waitress because it was taking too long to get her meal. The waitress tried to explain that she doesn't work in the kitchen and has no control over how long it takes but said she would go check. Nope, that didn't matter, it was all the waitress's fault. I had to pull the say I'm going to the toilet and leave through the side exit maneuver. This happened to me kind of. Poor kid waiter working school holidays, accidentally drops our drinks on our table. No harm done as it didn't spill on us, but just the table. The girl I'm with goes crazy. She makes a huge scene trying to get free food and drinks. I had never been so embarrassed. People who go off on kids who are working tick me off. It's the same thing when you're at McDonald's and you see 40 year olds flipping out at the person working the register and I'm just there thinking, are you seriously screaming at a 15 year old girl? Are you seriously screaming at a child? After watching a movie, I grabbed my trash and she laughed and smacked it out of my hand onto the floor and said, people get paid to clean it. I just looked at her and asked, why would you intentionally make someone's life harder when you have two free hands to carry your trash 15 feet to the can? She couldn't grasp that concept, and I never felt attracted to her again. Oof. I used to work at the movie theater, and it was a pain having to clean up the trash that people were too lazy to throw away. We have a schedule of theaters to clean, and all that trash really messes it up. Seriously, I feel bad for the one who has to come in to clean it. I was shocked when I saw parents telling their kid to just leave their trash there and walk out. Like seriously come on, 
How hard is it to just hold your trash and throw it on the way out? It takes a couple of seconds maximum, and yet people still refuse to do it. He was extremely attractive, and we had been on a few hikes together with a small group, and I was crushing pretty hard. We were at a mutual friend's place for her birthday, and he spent the majority of the night telling me about all of these dates he had been on, and how he could get whatever girl he wanted. Instantly killed that crush. Instantly killed that crush. He's a jerk, but you didn't have to kill him. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing for more videos like this. Don't forget to leave your stories in the comments below.